So SSH minus LW, let's see, um, our unix.com. Let's see if I log in and show you as an example of My Solaris. So I um, used uh, something called SSH, Secure Shell, to go to my Mac machine uh, that's running that website. And from there, I uh, log into my virtual box, which is my Solaris machine. And then inside here, now I'm on the Solaris machine. Uh, if I just clear my screen and do uname minus A, you see that I'm on the Solaris machine 5.11. And here, that's the website or server. It's called HTTP Apache. Apache 2.2 is running. So I'm going to demo uh, some of the examples here for Apache 2.2. Let's see. Um, so in this case was um, CGI bin. Okay, so the script that I'm showing you here, let me uh, set my terminal. You see that uh, PSR one is uh, pointing to a big long uh, this. It shows the name of the host and the path and everything. Uh, that's too much uh, here for teaching. I'm going to change that one to PS1 is equal just a dollar sign and then a space. Okay, so sorry. Um, right here, I'm still sitting on that machine and I'm still seeing that directory there. But um, it's much easier now to just say, show me all the C shell script, all the files with uh, other ones. So let me just give you for the first script that I was run, uh, showing you there for each dot C shell. And this is script, um, which I wrote long time ago, and it's still good. It just basically uh, uses C shell in this case instead of bash. And then there's other bash script. I'm going to show you those examples as well. And on this ex uh, script, I'm just we're basically printing a list of all the sports here. And then uh, so uh, you use a for each. This for each syntax is similar to Perl or um, Python and other programming languages that they use the word uh, for each. Perl is very specific, uh, similar to this uh, work. Um, works like this. So for each and then a sports and then you use an array of lists. In this case, uh, the array contains soccer, football, swimming, running, basketball, handball, tennis, volleyball. And then it has to print those ones. Then um, the syntax of C uh, language, if you use a for each, you don't have a do and done. You don't have a begin and an end, but you have an end statement. Uh, and then uh, you just finish it. Uh, then this other one, print a list of characters. Notice that uh, the CH in this case, it could be A through D, let's say, uh, through E, or A, B uh, through E, and lowercase or uppercase first one, and lowercase second one, and then numbers third one. So it's going to print out those uh, very, uh, numbers or characters based on, on what I want to print. And then in this case, I'm co uh, combination printing uh, using for each statement, uh, using a string and then floating point numbers. So if I just do um, for each dot C shell, uh, since I'm defining it on my uh, for each statement dot C shell, on the first line, if I say head one, it, uh, it minus one then it's going to say it's a seashell. Since I did a seashell, I could uh, do a dot for each dot seashell. It will still execute it. 
And notice that it uh, does uh, for floating point number. For the rest. Um, so the next example on the seashell is a F statement, F dot seashell. This one, I'm uh, doing a comparison at some point. If a sport is soccer, then I love playing sports, uh, dollar sign sport, then the playing soccer will be uh, printed. Notice the F statement. And instead of the uh, bash having a bracket or double uh, quote and double parentheses, in this case, is this is much like C language. That's why um, the programming, uh, uh, the shell script is called a C, C shell, which is similar to C, but unfortunately, they don't use braces and they don't close the braces. They use the syntax of then and def. So it is more uh, kind of combined of bash and the uh, seashell and, and its own way of uh, the uh, person that who wrote it. Um, and then it uh, uses end for that for statement, the for each. Actually, this for each is already there. Uh, where is that end? Uh, that might be a typo there. Let me see if why is has there. Yeah, for for character and this. Yeah, actually, yeah, uh, this one has a, a end here. Maybe uh, it is coming from one of the. Uh, let me see vif dot shell. So for each, and then there's end already here. Okay, maybe that end was like ending before it prints it. And dollar sign is sport. Yeah, this this uh, terminated before that one. It should have been here. Let me see. Um, and if yeah, this is okay. So that one of them is terminated before that. And if and then end. Um, quit. Let's see, f dot uh, seashell. It does uh, run, but notice that they give you an end here. Uh, for each. Oh, no, and that was uh, output of this. This is my syntax. Yeah, this end not found. You see that? So we did see that uh, as a typo. Vi. Uh, f dot c shell and this one is okay this one is extra um, we could just comment this one out and then that way the f statement should work because if that is the case then then this one is done let me see what's going on here oh so now the file is read only because i have to log in as root because uh, I made the permissions of them differently. Um, F dot C shell. So nobody could uh, modify it. Uh, so let me just do that. sudo su dash. Okay, now my uh, PWD is different. So I'm going to go back to uh, var Apache 2. 2.2 CGI bin and loop and then uh, VI F dot C shell and then end just put an end there the next one was okay F dot C shell so can even not found this was the reason that I put that end it understood that one so um vi f the c shell this one is okay this one is commented out now f the c shell it runs did it say soccer let me see if it does uh, Direct minus i soccer. 
you have a new software. Okay, so I'm gonna do F dot C shell and move this line behind this line because um, the F statement has to be part of this function to say that as for this soccer, then it does it. Even not found. Ah, it is um, complaining with that column, uh, VI soccer. Uh, code. So, and, and uh, the reason is this one is not having two columns. And that is when you're doing um, condition checking, yeah, the syntax is two, uh, two of them, like I did here. Um, this is one to do that or that, but this is Boolean matching. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, it worked here too. So if it is equal that, and then the first one is uh, fruit. If a sport is equal to that, I'm gonna uh, run it like this. It might fail. No, actually, it didn't. That was the problem. So in this case, um, if you just do it like that, it's gonna work. And um, the syntax was that, um, let me try this uh, f dot c shell. And that's whether the uh, two bracket fixed it or the bank. The bank sometimes, and um, um, it might just say this bank pound is not understood. As it looks like as if it is uh, an event. Yeah, that, that was the bang. So I could have just um, get rid of that, that bang in seashell. If you're falling after with a code, it is um, uh, a problem. So I'm gonna do that and I should escape it. It should not, yeah, it should not be there. So the f fact that whether I use double code or single code double code if it was more than one condition that may like this i uh, use more um, boolean conditions if this condition is true or that one is this is or or that condition is true or this other condition is true any of those condition so i used a boolean operator to say this one would be returning uh, let's say one or this one one or this one Whichever one return one, this uh, statement will be true. And then, um, because it's an or statement. So the fact that I did the first line and uh, put that uh, um, uh, escape in front of the bang, it works. Uh, that's why it's gonna come. And then if I look at the I love soccer grip minus I love Soccer is there. I love playing soccer. Uh, and then the bank symbol is there. So that was the reason for the event. Uh, F dot C shell. Now I don't need this pound in front of this at all. Um, okay. And then let's go through a, a, for a few more examples of F statement. Um, so this one is a F arguments uh, dot a search. Um, it's on a bash.